Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, my name is Donna, and for those of you not new, thank you so much for continuing to come back and support my channel. Today we are doing our episode 58 of my palette roulette series in which we let an app choose a palette for us. We use that palette all week long, and then we come back to you and talk to you about what we found, we, meaning me, to be going on with that palette as well as show you some looks that I created with the palette and pick a new palette. So today's palette that we're going to be talking about is this one. It is the Carity Mattes palette. This is a palette that retails for $29 on Carity.com. That is the only place that you can find it and it does have 4.9 stars on Carity with just roughly right around 1,300 reviews. I believe it's 1,297 reviews on it right now. There are 21 shadows in this, all mattes in here, 21 all matte shadows in here. I did purchase this at the same time as I purchased the frost palette, which was 21 shadows that were all frost. This is what the exterior of the palette looks like. This is the old packaging. I do believe they've repackaged at this point. The exterior front looks like this is just really basic and the exterior back looks like this it does have what the shadows look like on the exterior of the packaging as well as a little blurb about the the brand and what this palette is and the ingredients in this brand this is a cruelty free paraben free and many of their items are also vegan friendly brand this is what the interior of the palette looks like. Notice there is no mirror. I believe that this is how they keep their palettes relatively inexpensive. They also have a nice good company like standing that they stand behind that I'll go into in a minute. But these are the shadows. Again, 21 matte shades. I have used every single one of them in this palette. I also have a video that I did reviewing this palette right after I got it, not right after I got it, but after I got it and had done, you know, had used it quite a bit that I will go ahead and link up in the cards for you guys. It does have a lot of information in there as well. I don't know if it's as much information as what I'm going into here. There is 1.18 ounces total in this palette which means each one of these pans is about 0 0.056 ounces of product, which is a pretty decent sized pan. It is your basic rainbow palette. Yep, basic rainbow palette has everything in it from warms to cools. It is a really decent, decently pigmented palette. There's very little fallout with it. I would say it definitely works best with primer on your eyes than it does without primer. Definitely with a more densely packed brush than with a fluffy brush. I was able to pull off some pretty basic looks out of it as well as some pretty awesome looks out of it. I did a get ready with me as a matter of fact my Bah Humbug Club that went up last week uh, had me using this palette in it and I came up with a pretty decent eye look in that palette. Um, what I will say is that when I got this palette initially, it was probably two years ago, honestly, and I really firmly believe that this might be the first palette in my collection that I've really seen the differences in the palette at the beginning versus the palette current. And I don't know if it's because when I first purchased the palette, I was new into makeup and just really thought that this, this formula was the shit. And now I really have dealt with lots better formulas out there and really don't think it's any, any different than many other palettes that I have purchased drugstore. If I have to be honest with you, it didn't blend very well at all. Even this look on my eyes right now, as basic as it is, 
took me forever to blend the brown that is in the crease into the peach that's above the crease and I did use that peach color as a transition color so it should have been super easy to blend the darker brown into the peach color and it just wasn't. Uh, I found it very patchy. I found it to stick to certain areas of my eye and, and not in others. I also found it to blend away when I started to blend out the colors. Don't get me wrong, I did have some pretty amazing eye looks with this palette and I did get some compliments while I was wearing it about my blend, but my blend took a long time to get there with this palette, a lot longer than it should have in my opinion and a lot longer than I have ever had to work with another palette. With that being said, it's just weird to me that I purchased this one and the Frost one at the same time, and the Frost one really did well for me. So, bottom line is, is that I have all these shadows in other palettes. I This is the first rainbow palette that I have, but not the last rainbow palette. And I really just don't think I'll be keeping it in my collection. I'm not going to keep it in my collection because I just don't find it to be as pigmented as some other shadows in my collection. And I just really want to hold on to, I have so many palettes, I just really want to hold on to the palettes that I know are going to work for me. And this one just took far too much time and I just don't, I just don't, I have the time to mess with it, but I just don't want to. When I have other rainbow palettes in my collection that blend so much more flawlessly and almost blend themselves, it seems silly to me to hold on to a palette of this nature for no reason. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch for you uh, the first row. This one is Caress. It's a very pigmented white shadow. I think that my white shadow in my Many MUA Life's a Drag palette, however, is a lot more pigmented than this white. It did work well as a nice brow bone shade. Then we have this one here, which is Whisper, and it is just a flesh tone shade that I use to lay over the top of a primer most days. And then we have this one, which is Cancun. It's a nice, like, coral shade. Then we have this one here which is Alexi, which is a beautiful, like, almost blue-toned violet. Then we have this one here, which is Enchant. It is a really pretty blue, but again, I really feel like there is a blue similar to this in my Life's a Drag palette. Then we have this one here, which is called Fain, and it is a really pretty, like, uh, blue mossy green like maybe sea foam green that's it sea foam green and it actually blends this color out really really well and then we have this one here which is called sinful and it is just a matte gray it is a really pretty gray tone I do have it in my eye look today but it's it's nothing spectacular and honestly it's not as pigmented as I really really want it to be. In addition to all those words, Enchant the like turquoise blue color was really like it's always felt real real sticky in the pan, like real, you know, grippy. Like almost like it's got a little bit different formula to it. We have this one which is called Luxuria and it again is just a kind of flesh toned color that would be really good as a um, all over the lid setting a primer shade. Then we have this one which is Coquette. It is a really pretty like almost orange cream soda color. Then we have this one which is the red and it is called NSFW. NSFW. I don't know what that means. I'm not even going to pretend to know what that means. Um, it is a red that actually appears a little more orange on the eye and it's not like a red red, not like the James Charles red. I don't, I don't think that that one is a very good red, honestly. And it is also a little more grippy in the pan. Then there is that one, which is probably one of my favorites in this palette. It is so pigmented. 
beautiful pink and it is called um, Lumbia, I think, Lumbia. Then we have this purple here called Ego and it is like a, a blue purple. It's a really deep purple. It's also a really nice shade in the palette, but I found it blended away way too easy. Then we have this one here, which is Wicked. It's a nice like lime green shade. And then we have that one there, which is a nice like cooler tone brown. And it is called Nimbus. That shade of brown is also in my eye look today. I blended it into this coral color down here called Coquette. And that is the two colors that I used in my eye look today. I used a single shadow. I did often use some single shadows in my eye looks this week just to give me a little bit of a, you know, oomph, a little bit of a, a little bit of sparkle in my day because I have to have sparkle. Okay, last row we have this shade here, which is Tweety. It's actually a really decently pigmented yellow. Uh, we have that one there, which is called called Vegas, a uh, very decent orange. Then we have this one here, and this one is called Unsafe. Then we have this one, which is called Huntress. These are swatching a lot better than I anticipated they would, honestly. I do think that in my mind, it was a great palette at one time. So I, I really do think that it's maybe just seen its days as far as shelf life goes, and that might be the problem. So these last three colors are probably the most grippy in the palette, and I think it just has to do with the darker colors. The darker colors, the more, the more, you know, whatever it is that pigment that they had to put into them. Uh, this one here is called Phantom, and it is a really dark navy blue. It's not this brilliant, though, on your eye. So, the swatch is really good, but it's not this brilliant on your eye. This one is called Medusa. It is a nice, beautiful, like, emerald green shade, but this one and the lime green shade that I just showed you in the previous row kind of, um, they just kind of mold into one on your eye. They don't look much different. And then this is the black in the palette, and it is called Disturbia. It's not a bad black, but it is a black that blends away to gray. It is the darker gray that I really wanted to get from the other gray in the palette. I really can't say that I don't like this palette. As I said earlier, I really do think that it's got something to do with age. I really do think that I've had this palette since, like really since I got into makeup and it has a 24 month shelf life. It's probably hit its 24 months. It's easily hit it. Well, let's see. I started wearing, I started my channel uh, two years and four months ago. I think I bought this brand somewhere around the October mark. Yeah, it's it's hit about its two-year mark. I have never explicitly seen a, a palette in my collection show, show its age and its shelf life in the fashion that this one did, because I really do believe that it's just about the age of these shadows. This will probably be one that... I'll probably just give it to my daughter because the pigmentation's not there. It's not going to, it's not going to worry me for her to have it. And she, I just threw away a couple of her other palettes because she digs into, <laughs> into the makeup. So, so a little bit about the company. This is a, a self-funded and growing organically kind of company. I really love the story behind it um, because it was started by a man who was asked by his wife to go get an eye pencil for her. And when he got to the store, he found himself a little bit sticker shocked by the price of it and really just thought that items should come to the consumer at less of a cost, mostly because it shouldn't it shouldn't cost that much for an eye pencil. So then he decided to try his hand at cosmetics himself, hiring cosmetic chemists and producing 
cosmetics that you could get for cheaper because they are sold direct to you. There's no middleman. There's no retail marketing that they have to fund. There's none of that stuff. So the markup just isn't there. So again, this palette is $29 for 21 shades, and that's pretty damn good, right? That's just over a dollar a shade. That's amazing. And really, the quality is pretty good. As I said, please forgive this palette. It is two years old. That is its shelf life. So, and I'm seeing that. He named the brand Carity after his wife's maiden name. And every single palette they sell gives a dog in need food, which I think is amazing, at least one meal. So what they do is they total up the pallets that they've sold on a, I think it's a monthly basis, and then they have partnered with the shelters in their area and they, they buy that many animals a, a meal with, with the with the money that or portion of the proceeds from their palettes and I think that that is amazing and they call the program palettes for paws paws yeah palettes for paws and I think that that is just extraordinary for a company to really have that mindset still that philanthropy nature that you know some small businesses start out with but don't continue to do Carity is an Instagram rising Instagram famous indie brand, but it's doing really well. So uh, Isaac Rami, Rami, I believe is his name, is the owner of the brand, the creator of the brand, and I think he did a knockout job. This palette is going into my declutter, but again, I really do believe it's because of the age and I do have these same shades over and over and over in my collection at this point because this was the first rainbow palette that I got, but it wasn't the last rainbow palette that I got. I hope I gave you all the information that you need for this palette, but I am going to go ahead and choose a new palette for this coming week. Uh, this is the week of Christmas. Merry Christmas to every single one of you. As you know, I was doing Vlogmas this year. I did miss this last weekend. I apologize to you guys. My work-life balance has been shit, and um, my work is kind of kicking my ass right now. Um, but, I mean, I love it. I love every second of it, but I'm beat. I was so tired. I was so tired, and I did actually work. Today is my only day off. I recorded a video very late last night. I'm recording this video right now and it will go up tomorrow and I will be back at work for the next several days, couple days, and then it's Christmas. So mm, I'm kind of going nuts <laughs> right now. My, my brain telling me that I need to get videos up, I need to get videos up is being um, overcome with the brain that's saying you also need to Christmas shop because you haven't done that and you have six children you have to buy for Donna. So, I'm sorry I took the weekend off you guys, but right back at it this week. We are going to pick a new palette. For those of you that do not know, I do have a Samsung Note 9 Plus. I do use the Decide Now app that I got out of our app store. It's the Play Store for um, Android phones. There are apps like this on the iOS system. I only know that because the person that I pull inspiration from, Danny, her channel name is Danabo, only I think she changed it now, but it, either way, that link will still get you to her channel. She uses an iPhone and used also a Wheel of Fortune type app. So you just, I put all of my palettes into it and as I haul palettes in, I add them, but as we use them in these palette roulette videos, I take them out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spin that. Oh. Nixair, this is a impulse buy, and I bought it because I think I got it for like seven bucks at TJ Maxx, maybe, TJ Maxx, maybe Ross, I cannot remember, I'm not sure, 
I know I haven't used this palette. I'm not sure that I even want to use this palette, but let me go pick it up. This is the NYX Air palette. This is what it looks like. These palettes were $20 when they first came out. So when I saw it at Ross for seven bucks, I thought I needed to pick it up. This is what the palette looks like. <laughs> so, you know what, that's okay. I'm gonna have some super fun with this palette. I'm also maybe going to add some <laughs> other colors, some single shadows into this. I'm getting a lot of use out of my single shadows these last couple weeks. This is an interesting palette. It's all a pastel. I don't know. Maybe I'll love it. We never know. So, I think my fear is that this is more of a cool tone palette, and I don't typically look very good in cool tones, So, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll have fun with it. I love that the packaging on it and the inside of the palette are kind of the same. They're, they're very much the same in, like, thought process, right? Really pretty pastel-y and whatnot. This does have some really cool shimmers in it, too, so we will see. We will see. <laughs> all right, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I hope that you'll also consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you along for this crazy ride of mine. If you do that, don't forget to hit that uh, little bell down there that gets you notified every single time I upload a video. I typically upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but here through Vlogmas, I've been trying to do it every single day. And I hope to see you guys down in my comment section. I also hope that you're having an amazing December. I hope that we've got a couple days left until Christmas and you're still real zen. <laughs> and you're not letting the crazy hubbub of everything um, make you so stressed out that you can't hardly stand yourself because I'm trying to stay the same way. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and until next time. Bye guys. Philanthropical. Philanthropical. <laughs> really seen a deterioration deterioration <laughs>